Wonderful evening. Thank you, Stefan, for this uh, first speech. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Airbus and uh, our customer, uh, I would like to thank INS Pass, Ariane Group, CNES, ESA, and Airbus for making this launch a great success. Very warm thanks to Chris, our customer, for his dedication and uh, hard work in during this campaign. Uh, well done, and thanks again. Uh, it was also a pleasure to share this uh, launch with our friends and colleagues from Utilsat and Maxar, uh, and uh, we made it together. So this VA248 launch is a special one for us because it is the uh, 50s Eurostar 3000 that we are launching uh, and made by, IN, uh, by uh, uh, Airbus. These days, we are, as well, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Airbus company. So uh, no doubt for Airbus folks today, the uh, uh, winning number is 50. The T T16 satellite that we just launched is an impressive extra-large spacecraft for, in terms of mass, size, power, and capability as well for the uh, DTH broadcast uh, on its uh, coverage. T16 has been delivered on time. And this, once again, uh, proved the Airbus industrial excellence. I'm delighted to be here in Kourou once again, this time for the launch of Utelsat 7C. Iron Space is one of Utelsat's most long-standing partners, and vice versa. We've been working together since our first launch in 1983. At the time, it was Ariane 1. Some of us were not born. And it is a pleasure to be able to celebrate yet another successful launch with you today, our 33rd together in almost as many years. We are also very pleased to share this success with our satellite manufacturer, Maxar, as well as with our partners for this launch, Airbus and AT&T. You've heard a lot about, of, uh, about Utelsat 7C already during this evening, so I will not repeat. This satellite will be located at 7 degrees east, one of our most dynamic video neighborhoods, which already broadcasts 500 channels and serves key customers such as DigiTurk in Turkey, Azam TV in Tanzania, and Movie TV in Zambia. We look forward to putting it into service to continue building the momentum at this orbital location. Utelsat 7C is the third satellite to be built by Maxar for Utelsat. It is the first all-electric satellite to be built by Maxar Technologies, and we are proud, Paul, to have worked together with you on this over the past few years. Utelsat 7C will be the fourth all-electric satellite to join the Utelsat fleet. And there are four more to come out of the six we have under procurement. So what's next for Utelsat 7C? Actually, this is just the end of the beginning. First, the good news is that crying. We think from the stations we have in Australia. The Utelsat and Maxar teams have taken control of the satellite from Palo Alto, and over the next few hours, we will therefore deploy the solar panels followed by the electric thrusters. This will be for us the moment when we can comment we are really, when we can confirm so we, that we are really on our way. The satellite will climb gradually to the seven degrees east orbital location where it is expected to go into full commercial service by the end of the year. To conclude, I would like to give my big thanks to all the teams who have worked hard over the past weeks, months, and years, and who have made this success possible. 
in particular for Maxar, Grant, Michel, Greg, Paul, but also John and Lucio, for Ariane Group, Roland, Cyril, Beatrice, Geneviève, as well as Jacques, and for Knes, Hugues, and his team. I could not end without thanking as well the UTELSAT technical teams in the engineering, satellite operations, fleet deployment, and service operations, who have not only been working day and night over the past three years, but who are going to continue over the next weeks to make this fully a reality. I won't name you all, but I would like, I would like to tell you that first, the holidays are not for now yet, and second, that you are doing a fantastic job, and I am very proud to be your boss. I would like to end by saying hello to the UTELSAT teams who have followed the launch in all parts of the world, and especially in Paris, where I know that a lot of my colleagues, as well as many members of the UTELSAT family, are watching us live. I'm sure that you are as proud as I am tonight to be a member of the One UTELSAT team. As the German philosopher Hegel said, nothing great in the world has been accomplished without passion. The good news is that we are passionate, and let's keep it that way. Go UTELSAT 7C. Thank you. We have really developed a, a terrific partnership, which is great for our partners and clients. We had today a launch with, uh, we also have signed up for a launch on Ariane 6. Maxar is particularly proud of our successful delivery of the Eutelsat 7C satellite to Eutelsat. It is our first all-electric satellite. In addition, this is the first satellite of our second generation lithium-ion power generation system, which provides increased performance and flexibility for our customers. Le développement et lancement de satellites represent des milliers so, the development and launch of a satellite represents hundreds of man years, and I'd like to thank every employee and our uh, subcontractors for their hard work on this project. decades proven 1300 class platform, Eutelsat 7C is equipped with 44 KU band transponders and a steerable antenna beam, which enables Eutelsat to adjust coverage as needed while the satellite is on orbit. The satellite also carries a highly innovative photonics payload, which will demonstrate technologies to enable more efficient payload designs in the future. Felicitations à toute l'équipe de cette mission réalisée. So, congratulations to all for this successful mission. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, as our dear colleague from Maxar has uh, spoken uh, French, I will go on speaking uh, my very special English, which has a <laughs> slight flavor, flavor of French. Uh, so, again, congratulations to all. I think we can celebrate tonight also the friendship between uh, the US and Europe, because uh, it's a perfect uh, teaming. We have uh, uh, a U.S. Co customer and a U.S. satellite manufacturer and a European co customer and a European satellite manufacturer. And uh, this is one of the beauty of Ariane to do this kind of uh, achievement. So uh, July will be a very busy month for Ariane Space. We will be back here in the Guyana Space Center on July the 5th with Vega. It will be the 15th launch of uh, our light vehicle, and it will be for the United Arab Emirates. After this very special event, we will be back on July the 24th, and it will be uh, with Ariane 5, and we will uh, then deliver for 
IS-34 for Intelsat and IDRC for Airbus. Thank you very much and have a good night. Thank you very much.